in every color of the rainbow and in every regard the perfect all-in-one, how can you not love the 24-inch iMac? It's slim, it's sexy, brightens up any space, has everything you need in the box. And now it's powered by the all new M3 chip. So if you're in the market for a new home computer, keep watching. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker. And over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the interesting people I get to meet along the way. So if you're like, I think I need a dedicated home computer, give this channel a like and subscribe, and I'll help you find the right one to match your needs. This is our 2023 iMac unboxing and review. Before we dive into a review, I first want to film an unboxing video. So you're going to get two videos in one today. I still remember the last time we filmed an iMac unboxing on this very patio. It was a warm but lovely spring afternoon. Now we're in the middle of fall and I have the perfect color to match the season. On this channel, you've seen a pink slash red iMac, and of course, my favorite blue iMac. Today, you're going to see an orange iMac. Gotta love Apple packaging, and this, by the way, this handle isn't made of plastic. It's actually made of recycled paper, and in some ways, it actually feels like an Apple Watch band. Let's pull off this tab and then we can lay it down on the table. Open sesame. Push towards the arrows to unlock, and then you can lift up the iMac out of the box. The rest of the goodies are in here. If these pictures are any indication, we have some goodies inside this box, including a keyboard. Let's find out. There you go. Starting off with a keyboard. Look at that. Orange keyboard, very pretty. Next, magic trackpad. White back, white surface, but orange accents, so pretty. Wow, we've got all the goodies here. It also comes with a magic mouse, white surface, and underneath the same metallic orange color. Color matching doesn't stop there. We have cables also in orange. We'll start with this guy, a USB-C to lightning cable for charging your mouse and keyboard. And this is connected to the power brick, but I want to show you that orange, so let's take this off. There you go, orange cable with a metallic orange connector. This is the plug, some paperwork, and will we get an orange Apple sticker? Let's find out. Love that the instruction manual is also orange. And last but not least, an orange Apple sticker. Yes. It's finally November, and while my new iMac has that fall vibe, I can feel it in the air. Winter is coming. Thankfully, to help me stay warm indoors, Gobi Life sent me their Smart Space Heater Lite, this video's sponsor. As you can see, it's portable and compact, which I love because even though my apartment comes with HVACs, as a plant dad, I try not to turn the one in my kitchen on so I don't end up killing these plants with a lot of hot air. The Smart Space Heater Light has saved me from that. It heats up a 200 square foot room fast in just two seconds. It's also safe thanks to five different protection schemes, including automatic shut off after 24 hours, as well as protection against overheating. Because it's smart, I can connect it to the Govi Home app so I can control it easier. There are five different settings to choose from. Fan, low, medium, high, and auto. There's also a way to set a timer and schedule. So I've set it to turn on every morning at 8 a.m 
right before I make my coffee. It's quiet too, just 37 decibels at the lowest setting. My parents are on their way back to Asia, but when they were here this month, I slept in the living room. And thanks to this guy, the cold and the sound never bothered me anyway. If you need an affordable and reliable space heater with a comprehensive set of smart features, Gobi Life's Smart Space Heater Lite retails for just $49.99. But wait, if you order between November 20th to 27th, you'll get 30% off, bringing the price down to just $34.99. It's a deal you don't wanna miss. I'll put links in the description box below. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the iMac, the most popular all-in-one computer in existence. While we've seen many iterations over the years, personally, the biggest milestones include the move from the original translucent egg-shaped iMac G3 to the Intel-powered iPod-like polycarbonate model in 2007, the switch to unibody aluminum in 2011, and finally, the switch to Apple Silicon in 2021. This last update was huge. Apple Silicon is probably the most impactful thing to ever come to the Mac, and call me a fanboy, but there was hardly any fault to find on the previous model, which is why in 2023, this update is more iterative. It's almost the same machine with a processor bump, but to say that would be a disservice to the M3 chip. It's got a much more powerful CPU and GPU, and I've got a full chapter on it coming right up. But first, I just rewatched my M1 iMac 2021 video, and it's still pretty relevant, so I'll put a link up here and down below if you'd like a deep dive into all the new features, especially if you're switching from an Intel-based iMac. Everyone else who just wants the TLDR, here's everything I love about the 24 inch iMac. I love the color selection, especially the rich, vibrant colors on the back of the machine. Here's red, which is technically pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and if you'd rather have a more classic monotone look, there's silver. You definitely want these backs exposed as much as possible, which is why my blue iMac has spent most of its life in my kitchen. That way, I see my favorite shade of blue every time I walk in each morning. Up front, you'll find a lighter, more pastel color with a white frame bordering the 23.5 inch display. By the way, Apple, if you're watching, I have a wish list. I love how my HomePod matches the color of my iMac. It works this way. It also works on my blue iMac. So I would love if you also had HomePod minis eventually come out in red, green, and purple. The new iMac is so thin, it's like a huge tablet on a stand. Thinner even than a headphone pin, which is why the headphone jack is here on the side and you plug it in like this. Despite its slim frame, built in are a pair of fans and an incredible six speaker sound system, including two pairs of force canceling woofers so you get that oomph in your bass without the vibrations. These speakers support both Dolby Atmos and spatial audio. Here is how it sounds like. Then there's this gorgeous display with a 4.5K resolution and 500 nits of peak brightness. To be honest, it's much better than most external monitors that you can buy. The combination of this incredible display and excellent sound system make it a great machine for watching videos in a bedroom or dorm room. It's like a computer and entertainment system in one. In the living room, it's the perfect computer the family can share. Like I've said, I have one on my kitchen island and recently my mom used it when she was making cinnamon rolls. The screen is large enough to have two browser windows side by side, so she had the recipe on one window and the companion YouTube video playing on the other. The iMac is also perfect for your home office and your office office. The hardware is the same, so I was curious with the new ISP available on M3, is this camera going to be better than the old camera? So let's test it out. Like the previous model, it comes with a full HD camera for high quality video calls, and this 
is what it looks and sounds like. Powering the 2023 iMac is Apple's new M3 chip, the third generation of Apple Silicon for the Mac. M3 is the world's first three nanometer chip developed for a personal computer. And one of the big improvements this year is a GPU that's 65% faster than M1. If you'd like a deep dive into M3, I'll put a link up here and down below to my MacBook Pro 16 inch review. But in a nutshell, any graphics intensive task will get a speed boost. Photo and video editing, 3D design, and of course, gaming. Recently, I got to try out a whole bunch of new games coming to the Mac, including Resident Evil 4. I also got to try out Baldur's Gate 3, which dropped for the Mac last September. Gameplay was buttery smooth and lag free. If you've been paying attention, you'll find that Apple has set the Mac on a trajectory to compete with consoles like the PS5 and the Xbox, with many AAA titles promised, plus support for console quality games and things like hardware accelerated ray tracing, which you can see on this demo of an upcoming game called Stray. It's pretty impressive what M3 has enabled new Macs to do. The new 2023 24-inch iMac comes in basically two flavors, a 1299 base model and a 1499 step-up model. The $200 premium gets you a faster GPU. If you're into games or video editing, that additional two cores might come in handy. Otherwise, a core is just fine. An additional two USB-C ports for a total of four. Now, if this machine were something like the Mac Studio and I was a pro user, that would be a deal breaker for me. But to be honest, in the two and a half years that I've owned the first iMac, uh, Apple Silicon iMac, I've rarely had to plug in a cable to the back except when I'm charging my keyboard, trackpad, and mouse. Speaking of charging, if you get the step up model, your plug will look like this. See here, there's an ethernet port built into the adapter. This lets you plug in a cable from your router or modem for faster data speeds when available. For example, at home, I have a Verizon Fios one gig connection. And when I'm on Wi-Fi, normally I average between 500 megabits down. If I plug it in, it goes all the way up to about 800 or 900. If if you've never thought of that, then no worries, this isn't your problem. Wi-Fi 6E is available on both models, so you can still connect via Wi-Fi. And if you'd really like the option to plug in eventually, you can also pay an extra for one. Finally, you get this keyboard instead of this keyboard. The main difference is the Touch ID button, so you can use your fingerprint to unlock your Mac as well as authenticate purchases. In gadget match parlance, this is called a nice to have. I personally love having Touch ID on my keyboard. It's such a time saver. You can also pay an extra 50 bucks to get a keyboard like this. The step up model also gives you more options. Three additional colors, yellow, orange, or purple are exclusive to the pricier models. And while both come with 256 gigs of storage, if you want to pay for a storage upgrade, the base model maxes out at one terabyte versus two terabytes on the step up model. Personally, for most folks, one terabyte is enough. So, which model do I recommend? Let me start by saying buy what you can afford, but also keep in mind that once you purchase, there's no way you can add more RAM or more storage. So if you plan on holding on to your machine for five years or so, then you need to make that decision now and to keep your machine ready for whatever comes in the future, you might want to spend that extra few hundred bucks to make it future-proof. Most urgent of these upgrades is storage. I recommend bumping up to 512 gigabytes. That's a $200 upgrade. And if you can afford it, spend another $200 for that 16 gigabytes of unified memory. That'll set you up so good. But that's not to say the base model is underpowered. On the contrary, it's a very powerful machine and very capable of both simple and complex tasks. Speaking of upgrades, you'll find all of these optional upgrades available if you order on apple.com. Let's go over all of them. 
Mouse or trackpad? A magic mouse comes standard in the box. If you don't want the mouse, you can pay an extra $50 for the magic trackpad. I actually prefer the trackpad and hardly ever use the mouse, so this is the one I recommend. It's an extra $50. If you like both of them, you can pay $129 and you'll get both in the box. We've already discussed the difference between a Magic Keyboard and a Magic Keyboard with Touch ID. But there's one more option if you'd like a keyboard with a numpad built in. This one over here. That's an extra $80. Fun fact, your mouse, your trackpad, your keyboard are all going to be color matched to the color of the iMac that you buy and there's no way to get it otherwise. So for example, if you want a pink keyboard, you just can't go to an Apple store and buy one. You'll need to have bought a pink iMac. So is the 24 inch M3 iMac your gadget match? If you're looking for an all-in-one computer for your home, there's no better choice than the new 2023 iMac. I love mine and it deserves the Gadget Match seal of approval. If you own the M1 model, there's no need to upgrade. I don't think I'll be upgrading mine. If you own an Intel model, now is a great time to. And if you're a PC user looking to switch to a Mac, this might just be your best bet also. And that was our 2023 M3 iMac review. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, you know the drill folks. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.